Sauerland Event präsentiert Ihnen das erste Highlight des heutigen Abends. Zwölf Runden Profiboxen um die WBO Interkontinentalmeisterschaft im Supermittelgewicht. Dieser Titel ist vakant. Supervisor sind vom österreichischen Boxverband, FVA-Präsident Willibald Palatin aus Wien und für die World Boxing Organization Igor Mazarov aus Moskau, Russland. Geht dieser Kampf über die volle Distanz, dann entscheiden diese drei Punktrichter. The three officials scoring this bout at ringside are Richard James Davies aus All Howells, Kent, England, Manuel Oliver Palomo aus Palma de Mallorca, Spanien und Mickey Van aus Leeds, England. Ringrichter des Kampfes ist Manuel Menixerar aus San Sebastian im Baskenland, Spanien. Und das sind sie, die Details zu den beiden Boxern. Introducing the fight in the red corner, die rote Ecke mit dem Mann aus Namibia in silbernen Trunks mit gelben Streifen. Er ist 30 Jahre alt. Beim offiziellen Wiegen war er ganz genau 74,8 Kilogramm schwer. 1,85 Meter ist der Großprofiboxer seit dem Jahr 2003 mit dieser Bilanz. 26 Kämpfe, 20 Siege, 15 Mal durch K.O. Sein Trainer, Nestor Tobias, aus Windhoek, Namibia, der WBO Afrikameister im Supermittelgewicht. Will be for Chihepo! The Black Mamba, sein Gegner in der roten, in der blauen Ecke, der Boxer aus dem Sauerland-Team. Er ist 33 Jahre alt, beim offiziellen Wiegen war er 76,2 Kilogramm schwer, 1,76 Meter ist er groß. Profiboxer seit dem Jahr 2003 mit dieser Bilanz. 40 Kämpfe, 36 Siege, 28 Mal davon durch Knockout. Sein Coach, Ole Wegner. Aus Berlin, der ehemalige Weltmeister im Mittel- und Supermittelgewicht, King Arthur Abraham. Wer holt sich den Gürtel des Champions? Chiepo oder Arthur Abraham? Die Entscheidung fällt jetzt live hier in der Sport- und Kongresshalle von Schwerin. So, final words to the two fighters. And I think it's a pertinent question here, Barry. Just how much appetite after so many hard fights and particularly that savage beating that he got against Robert Stieglitz back in March. How much appetite Arthur Abraham still has? Yeah, it's, it's a big question, isn't it? Because he, was, he looked demoralised in, in, his, in his defeat against Stieglitz, and he's had a long career, hasn't he? And he's been 2003, and he's been a champion since about 2005, and boxed at the highest level. How long can you go on? So it's, uh, this fight will tell us how he feels. Height and reach advantage for Shihei who comes into this on the back of seven straight victories, and he had his first 12 rounder in September when he won the WBO African title for what it's worth. What it is worth though is that he has experience of going the distance and as you heard the two Steves saying earlier, Arthur Abraham has been there, done it so many times. But he can be a slow starter and if Shehepo puts pressure on from word go, well we've seen that that can reap dividends against this tough man Abraham. Well, when you get an African fighter you don't really know much about you, you're never sure what you're going to get here, you know, it's, it's sometimes the quality in, in, over in some African countries is never great, but even though and again, it, they get a little special talent comes out, and, and even if he has a few defeats, it turns out to be a, a bit of a star, so you're never quite sure. Well, Harry Simon was certainly a star, and the chance going up for Abraham. A couple of, one name on Shehepo's record, Isaac Chilemba, who uh, won and lost, sorry, drew and lost, yeah. I should say, got to get that one right, against Tony Bellew.
He looks nice relaxed though, hasn't he? Shepard, you know, he just keeps throwing that jab out. Keeping it from range, it's not bad work. But drops, carries that left hand very low, and if he's, we know Abraham likes to throw those big right hands over the top. He's a looping puncher, isn't he? And Stop! I don't see you hit, okay? He's quite a big unit as well, Shepo, isn't he? Yeah, he's a massive lump, isn't he? No, Abraham is not the biggest super middleweight, you know, he hasn't. And that's been his, his downfall, hasn't he, when he moved up in weight. He didn't have the same intensity in his work that he had as a middleweight. Yeah, he stands about 5'9", doesn't he? 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, Barry, of well, course. That's, that's, that's giant to people like me, John. Thank you, though. Crowd wanting to see the old Arthur Abraham, but maybe that's exactly what we will see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Oh, that's a good shot, though. Nice right hand. Shehapo just did the leg stiffen momentarily, I'm not sure. And it was a right hand, but it wasn't a looping right hand that I was talking about. It was a nice straight right hand on the middle, went through the guard of, of, of Shapo and something he has to be aware of. Took it quite well, for to his credit. Nice short, sharp right hand from Abraham. And I had been going to say before then that maybe Shehapo had done enough to take the opening round, but maybe not now. Yeah, I think, you know, even though he landed with more shots, I think, you know, the, the only real telling punches came from Abraham. And, for me, that just shaded the wrong for what was really not much going on. That's the man who's coming, I thought. The man who's dictating, the question comes up. Marking around that right eye already. Yeah, no, that's, that is a problem for him, especially when you get older, you do mark a lot easier, as you know yourself, John. Uli Wegner, the man giving the advice. But this is a fight, isn't it, for Abraham, where, you know, mm. he, he can't ass. lose. He needs to win, he needs to be, quite, needs to be impressive as well, that, that big right hand. Yeah, he wants to look good, doesn't he? He wants yeah. to make people believe that he's got a chance of beating Stieglitz. Well, this guy, right, Johnny, you've got to stop this kid, hasn't he, in, in, some, in some fashion, you would think, to, to really warrant a, an acceptable challenge to Stieglitz. Thanks. I've always thought Stieglitz is a little bit underrated. Oh, massively underrated. He does, he's another, another one of those fighters that doesn't do anything supersonic, but does everything really well. Oh, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He come up with no gun shield. <laughs> Time! You hear what the crowd make of that. I don't know why they're doing it. It, it can only benefit Abraham, can it, surely? And that's what that's what Shepard needs to do. is just keep throwing those straight shots. Keep Abraham at bay. You know, he's a much taller fight there with probably an even longer reach. Nice three straight punch combinations. Crowd a little bit quiet. Abraham so often a, a slow starter. He's got left it there though. Kurt Shepard coming in. Chehepo was, uh, was being lined up to fight Stieglitz last year and he's having a good attack here and he's starting to unload on Abraham who's doing no more than covering up and a, a nod of acknowledgement from Abraham and now trying to return with a little bit of interest. Good little assault there wasn't it from Chehepo. And all, he was right hand happy but they all landed and even when Abraham came back he still he, he still had an appetite to sort of fire back after Abraham so that was a she was a nice bit of, bit of desire but this is this pretty much is to Hebel's world title fight isn't it oh yeah so you can tell when he came in how up for it he was he looked relaxed but also how how very much aware of the significance you could see it in his eyes that's a good shot from Abraham, lovely jab, yeah, yeah. forcing the African back across the ring. And again, it's, it's the work before he made the shot, he made the space for the shot, didn't he? By just dipping the right shoulder, getting the angle for the, for the left hook. Shaping up to be a nice clash of styles, this one. shehepo has got a lovely sort of loose-limbed natural athleticism about him, and Abraham, as we all know, he's the, the power puncher. 
But you mentioned something earlier about Shahibo being up for this fight, and that's the problem with Abrahams and all the huge, massive fights that he's that he's had the, that he's been in throughout his career. Does he get up for this fight? Had just had to take a right hand. Yeah, he was forced back by that yeah. one as well. The two landed simultaneously, and the better timed shot was Shahibo's. I think he just caught him square. You know, I, I don't think Abraham is balance is one of his problems, isn't it? Sometimes he gets caught square on. But his strength is his ability to walk through you, isn't it? Good round this one though for Shehapo. Oh, he boxed really well, hasn't he? Ten. Excellent round. And he's shown emphatically that he is anything but a novice. Abraham, who struggled with movers, and Shehapo does have that natural athleticism. He lost to Durrell, lost to Ward. Frotch jabbed and moved when yeah, he fought him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frotch, Frotch's tactics were perfect, weren't he? Changed the way he boxed totally. He went back to his amateur days and, and schooled Abraham a little bit. And just showing it's two and throw, isn't it? Wouldn't know Abraham had a little bit of success, but Shehepo you know, coming back gamely. And then obviously German TV showing the, the highlights of Abraham's work, but more than not, there's a good right hand there from Shehepo. I think he had the, the biggest successes. That wasn't Shehapo's highlight, was it, when they forgot to put his gum shield in? Right, into, like, into round three. Got it one all on our card. Shehapo starting confidently. He does that well, doesn't he? He just, he just feints the jab and whips that little left hook around the, around the back of the guard of Abraham. We're still carrying that left hand low, we need to keep it up a bit higher. Good shot there by Abraham, he's, he's a little crude in his work, but it's effective. He's trying to walk through him, isn't he? Yeah, and then he did. You know, he landed a nice long left hook and a right hand over the top. And that's where Shehapo needs to keep his hands up nice and high. So he leaps into his punches, doesn't he, sometimes, Abraham? And you know, it's sometimes hard to see them come in. He leaps in from a distance. You don't expect it. No, that's the shot, that uppercut, that's the shot. That, 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 that'll work for him tonight. Abraham likes to dip low when you throw your straight shots. Abraham has ever. It's time to fight in punishing spurts. Stop! Attention, stop, okay? Spanish referee. Artur, Artur is the chant. It's looking a little bit laboured for me though, Abraham at this stage. Mind having said that, we've said that before and he's yeah, produced spectacular right, yeah. knockouts. Again, just Abraham throwing himself off balance there. Uh, Solid jab there though from Abraham. No, Shehepo just getting a little too close when he throws the shot. He needs to keep it long range. Oh. Oh, that's a solid right hand. Thankfully for Shehepo. Didn't land absolutely on the button, but it showed the danger there of Abraham. Yeah, and that and a, and a few other, only a few other big, heavier shots of Abraham was enough. The work rate came from Shehapo, but the quality came from Abraham, and that, for me, was what gave Abraham the round.
Abraham bullying his man back and landing with a nice right hand in close. And that was a quality jab. Yeah, he really stepped into it, didn't he? Caught Shahabal flush square on. Fritz Sudanek, a veteran German trainer. Long associated uh, with the stable of Klaus Peter Cole. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and, it, and it, you know, I think the jab is the punch that, that Abraham like has that. most trouble with. Yes, yeah, he struggled with the straight jab. Stop. Really yeah. rocked him back Stop. onto his heels with that one. But. Just a hit when he's he thrown out, he's he thrown out fast, needs to come back higher. Stop! Come on. Then turn your head. Not a lot from Abraham so far in this, the fourth round. No, but you know it's coming, don't you? You know the assault's going to come any any second, though, you would guess. Barely throwing a punch in the first. No. I, I honestly think the jab. Nice long jab. He struggles to just close the distance. Struggles to get his feet close. Just a perfect example there. Good variety there, I'm sure he pulled. Abraham keeping a tight defence, keeping those gloves up, but not doing anything. Oh, lovely. Lovely work there. And again, boxing very well, isn't he? I don't think there's any weight behind his shots. Nothing to oh, okay. trouble Abraham, but it's enough to keep them off balance, keep them away. Keep him from mounting an attack. Having to expend a fair amount of energy, Shehapo as well, and Abraham has uh, delivered precious little. Nice little lead left hook there from Shehapo. Well, you're always going to have to work hard, aren't you, in, in, when you box after Abraham? That's a left hand from Abraham, which Shehapo takes well. I guess Carl Froch kind of delivered the perfect blueprint as to how to beat this guy yeah yeah that's, oh good shot there yeah, from Abraham again but for me not enough no he did next to, to nothing too late, yeah. next to nothing in that round Abraham but it is a typical Abraham fight isn't it you know he not doing too much work in the early rounds but just making the other making the opponent work Walking him down. Okay, that was the, the one solid jab that he landed with, but really most of the most of the good shots came from Shahapo. Having to work pretty long and hard in this uh, editing truck following this to pick out these uh, moments from uh, from Arthur Abraham because there was precious little else in that in that round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 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 a few little, little moments as we've seen there. But the 80 percent of the work came from came from the African, and he boxed very well. And rising to the occasion, I think it was a big moment for him, come, isn't it? Come on, come on. Huge moment. It is. We said he was up for it. Okay. And on our uh, card, well, we've got it all square. But one of them for Abraham, round three, was a close one. But the African, the Namibian. Wilberforce Shehapo, splendid name that, isn't it? Yeah. He's right in it. 
just got caught off balance. I don't know if he was hurt so much, but he got caught square. He got his feet square on the ropes. And got tangled up as well. But he got some skills. You'd like to see him maybe, I don't know, I'm not criticising his trainers, but you think if he, if he worked with somebody, they could do a lot of work, some good things with him, you think. Doesn't carry a lot of weight, but he has nice variety in his work. And very fast hands for a big fella. Well, a super, mill super middleweight, this, that's big fellas to me. And an appetite as well, he's fought back hasn't he, when Abraham's landed with some shots, he's, he hasn't been afraid to fight back with him. Abraham has looked a little bit lethargic, not throwing many punches at all. Stop! No holding, okay. But how many times have we said that? And he's come back. Kind of reddening around Stop. the eyes of Abraham as well. You uh, Okay. Not too sure what that was about. As you said, he makes you work with, doesn't he, Abraham? A bit of movement there from him though. He makes you work. You always throw in punches, you always gotta move. Never gives you a second thrust. Well, it's not so far though a performance to sort of send tremors of apprehension into the Robert Stieglitz camp and there's a good left hand. Well the referee did Abraham a bit of a favour there. Yeah, I think I, I think he, I think he did slip, but it was still a punch that landed. So you know, we, maybe after call it, we can just see the replay. Again, he, he brings his back foot, he brings his right foot forward, doesn't he? Oh, Abraham okay. he throws that right hand, squares him up. The caught on his heels a little bit, I, 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 I suspect. Come on. And would the Arthur Abraham of a year or two ago have been caught in that sort of manner? Well, that, yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? But closing the gap a little bit he's easier, just, but he's just still a little bit wild, isn't he? Yeah, he looks as though he's reaching for the punches a little bit for me, Abraham. He's just forcing it. And he's starting to take a few in here now. <laughs> well, that was another round for the African by the looks of it, Shehepo. And the... Sauerland father and son com combination do not look terribly at ease with what's happening to one of their big draws. No, you, you just expect that he'd probably be in a better position right now, but you know, it's just we've seen this many times before with Abraham, he comes on strong. And I think he had his successes in that round and he was closing the gap a little bit closer, but not enough, you know, like I say, he looked wild, he got caught with his feet square. And not the same urgency and sharpness in his work as we've seen in previous years. Now is this where he gets, no that's, that's earlier on where he gets caught up in the ropes it'll be interesting to see again where he gets tagged and appeared to stumble. There, now what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? He's touched down, that should be a knockdown. No, he, he genuinely slipped but the, the club's caught him. He's but caught he's caught by a left right, hand. That's right, yeah, that's, a, that's a knockdown. The, by the definition of the rules that's definitely a knockdown. Well, the danger signs are certainly there for Abraham. We said, said before it started, were we going to see flashes of the old Arthur Abraham or was it just an old Arthur Abraham? Yeah. A play on words, but it kind of, uh, kind of illustrates the point. Well, he's boxing the same as he always does, isn't he, really? Just keep the hands up high and letting, letting the guy wail away almost. Yeah, except he's not really done yeah, anything, has he? Yeah, he hasn't really mocked a good attack. Good work here from the African, though. He's being knocked about here. Two, three good, solid right hands, plus the uppercut. Chihapo's trying to fight in the manner of Stieglitz. He's trying to mug him in here. Stop. Just no weight behind his punch. That's the only difference with, with, with Chihapo and Stieglitz. Stieglitz carry a little bit, little bit of spite in his shots. Doesn't look like Chihapo carries any, any sort of power to worry Abraham. But he has got speed. Oh, it's uncomfortable, isn't it, for Abraham? That's, that's, there's no bones about it. 
And it's the hand speed that I think he's struggling with, isn't he? He's struggling to mount his own attacks because Check. Jehiko's hands are, are wheeling away very fast. Well, we've got Abraham behind. If that's knocked down, which probably should have been scored as a knockdown, if that had been given, he'd be looking as though he was in a bit of a crisis here. Sixth round, big punches being thrown by both men here. That's a nice right hand from Abraham. Sneak little right, takes another one though. And even though they're both landed with punches, you just feel the, the tide's going towards Shahipo's way, isn't it? He seems to be the one, you know, one in, one in the win more, you know, almost bossing the fight, if you like. Well, you said earlier this is kind of like a world title fight for him. This is a real huge opportunity for Shahipo. And he's fighting in that manner. That's good work though from Abraham. That's a little bit of the old Abraham wading away with four punch combination. So, Missed by a long way with that one. Attention, okay? Attention. No pause, okay? Hold! Come on! Back. It's a big effort from Abraham in this round. He needed it. The fight had started to, well, if not slip away from him, it's certainly getting into dangerous territory. He missed again by a long way with that right hand. Yeah, he's been cruel again, hasn't he? You know, struggling just to get his rhythm, isn't he? Timing, Abraham. accuracy, snap, call it what you like. Now, we've got a cut here. Is that caused by a clash of heads? Doesn't look much. No, it's a nick, isn't it? It's yeah. away in the corner as well. Could have been a clash of heads that caused that. I'm not sure. Well, the, there we go. Uh, a suggestion from the director that it was caused by a punch. I'm not convinced. It's only a nick, though, anyway. Yeah, it's nothing. Is it? Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. We'll change of tactics for. Well, never, I've never seen Shahipo box before, but you would guess that he's boxing out of his skin because he's really putting a good, making a good account of himself here against a, a two-weight world champion. How did you score that sixth? Well, I just edged Abraham. I think it was a again, it was a around the two halves almost, wasn't it? I think Shahipo started well, but I think the heaviest shots were landed by Abraham. He's blowing as well, Abraham, now. Yeah, he's boxing at a good pace, hasn't he? Shehapo has definitely a good left hook there from Abraham. And that did land, and that's forced Shehapo to take a backward step or two. The crowd haven't had an awful lot to cheer about. Bulk of them, of course, very much pro-Abraham. Not topping the bill tonight, but to many of the fans who've bought the tickets here, he is the star of the show. And Shahipo needs to get back up behind that jab again. Come on, come on. Hooking off the jab. Something he had success with earlier on in the fight. The last thing you want to do is give Abraham encouragement to come forward. Good work. Get on around the back of the head. Good work from Shahid, but just when Abraham was looking to, to mount an attack. Come on, 
Well, I think irrespective of what happens from here on in, you have to start drawing the conclusion here that this is a faded Arthur Abraham. He's not what he was. Well, unless unless Shahabul's the, the next big thing out there, yeah, then you would think that maybe his, his, his skill level and he's just waning a little bit and his, his time at the top level is, is gone. A couple of jabs from Abraham getting through. That's a nice uppercut inside from Shehapo. But Abraham boxing no different to what he normally does. He's just a little bit of sharpness is gone, isn't he? A little yeah, bit I th I, yeah. I just think this. I just think the snap's gone out of his work. Maybe it's being hypercritical. I don't know. And I, yeah. No, you no, know, it's a fair comment, John. And I think that's another round for the Africa. I think he boxed clean there, didn't let Abraham get too involved. there's a clash of heads. Eighth round, and not a lot in it. You got it 4-3 to Shihapo, I think, Barry. Yeah, I think it's that sort of fight I do. I think Shihapo was boxing very, very well. Oh, lovely shot. Again, lovely right hand, making Abraham cover up. Come on, come on, come on. And take a big suck in of air. Wild look about those hooks. Neither of them landing flush. The thing with Abraham, you can never take a second off, can you? He never, he never lets you rest. Just when you start to relax a bit, he mounts an attack. You know, he's crude with the shots, but they're effective and they're heavy. Stop! Stop! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Many times Abraham has had to dig deep in fights and through his record. I reckon he'd, uh, he'd gone 12 rounds on 10 occasions and he's got an 8 to 2 record in his favour. So he knows all about pacing it for the entire championship duration. Yeah, he really has, really does, and he knows that. Oh, good, lovely jab there from Shahippo. Strong left hook there. Again, that leaping left hook, he just dips the shoulder, doesn't he? Abraham, it was a nice long left hook, you wouldn't think it'd reach. Bit of a slip, wasn't it, I think, from Shihapo? I think it's the advertising. Not quite sure what it's advertising either. It's not having much of an impact on me. Stop! Come on. Come on. You hit Shihapo just getting to look a little bit tired there and looking a bit disorganised here in this eighth round. Maybe a couple of those big hooks from Abraham have just taken their toll, perhaps for the first time. Well, he's had to work so very hard, he's had to throw a lot of punches. Again, started this round really brightly, you don't want to let Abraham back into the round now. So the eighth round over. Abraham doing better in the closing stages. No, 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 no. Yes, yeah, it's still not enough for me though, John. I think it was a close round. Abraham landed some heavy shots, but 
I like the work rate of the African. He starts off fast. Bit of cramp? Yeah, I hope not, because um, the last thing you want against Abraham is not being able to move. And his work rate, his work ethic has been really good, hasn't he? So lots of shots moved very well but never run from the fight. There are just signs in the closing stages of that eight that at last Abraham was starting to get to him. A couple of the hooks from Shihapo looked as though he might have been stunned by them. Forced into reverse gear. But he moves well, so he's keeping the... That's a good just, shot. Just keeping the sting, isn't he, on the way hands punches, by just leaning back, moving back quickly, feet moving sharply back. Ninth round. Okay. And on our card, Abraham has it to do. Been around long enough to know it. And a lot of experience in the Abraham corner as well. They surely know that this is at, at very best for their man. It's close. Yeah, it's closer than what they would have wanted, isn't it? Too close for comfort. Tell by the crowd what sort of fight it is. Very, very subdued. Well, Abraham quite often gets off box, doesn't he? That's good work from Abraham there. But he quite often gets off box, but he has big spurts of attacks, doesn't he? Which are very effective, and he hasn't been as effective. Landed with one there. Nice straight left hand. Making Shihapo close down and hold on. Shehapo's work rate perhaps just dropping a little bit now. Not surprising because he really has fought at a very fast pace. And is that just going to perhaps give Abraham a little bit more of an opportunity to get into range with his big shots? Well, he's been able to get closer easier, isn't he? And landing with, with jabs now, Abraham. Like that. Yeah, good right hand. And another solid left hand. And Shihapo starting to have to absorb more punishment. There were signs in the closing stages of the last round. And here in this round, the ninth, Abraham is starting to find his mark. Taking him a long time to get there. And even now he's having to fight in spurts, having to conserve energy. But the difference now to the earlier rounds, when he does mount an attack, he's having success, isn't he? It's a hateful game there, isn't he? He's still trying to fire back. Oh. Big right hand from Abraham. Shehapo takes it well and manages to slip inside that attempted left hook follow-up. But then absorbs another right hand. Abraham's landing the power punches now, Barry. Good round for Abraham and he needed it, didn't he? If anything, psychologically he needed it. It's his best round for some time, this. And you can see it's put a spring into his step. He's suddenly fancying the job more. And the worry for me for Shehebo is when you box with a left, low left hand, when you get tired, it's hard to get back up quick and that's Abraham's, one of Abraham's signature punches, isn't it? That right hand over the top. Looking down at your card, Barry, 5-4, you've got it for Shihapo, but Abraham winning the last one, and he can still take it if he comes on strong in these closing rounds. Three rounds to go. I think Shihapo's boxed tremendously well, you know, I think he showed that he's a worthy opponent, for sure. Just tiring a little bit now, and Abraham's game is, is to make you tired, isn't it? Take you into the deep waters, where he can, when it's his game, then he can work away and beat you up. It's not quite taking effect yet, but it's going that way, isn't it? Well, you can certainly see that happening. Every possibility. Abraham, by his own admission, fighting for his career here tonight. 
looking to keep alive the opportunity of big paydays and further world title opportunities. Wilberforce Shihapo, the younger man from Namibia, is still right in this fight. Just the reactions of Shehepo just a fraction slower than they were. I mean, he's not avoiding those shots he was earlier. He's starting to land now from Abraham. But still started this round off pretty fast, hadn't he? Yeah, not a lot in the punches now, though, Barry. Abraham just trying to walk him down, get into range for the power shots. Stop. Good turn, right hand there from Abraham. That's a good shot from Abraham. Chehapo takes it well though, credit where credit's due. Right hand landed flush. Abraham has really gained a second wind. Landed a nice little right hand left hook combination. The hate was worth just getting a little bit slightly scrappier than it was earlier between Abraham trying to time that left hook as he's coming in. Abraham's looking for the one big shot. Stop! Not finding it. Looks exhausted as well, isn't he, Abraham? A good round for him. Well, whatever the outcome here, Barry, I think this has shown Arthur Abraham's best days are behind him, and I think he's had a not a good, not a particularly good night tonight. He's been exposed at times by a man who, in his prime, I think he'd have blown away. Yeah, you know, you don't think. You, would, you wouldn't fancy him against Steve Wiz, no, would you? If they, if they were the box tonight, surely, but... On well, this show... All he needs is a window, yeah. doesn't he? And, and he's got a box of the world title again. No, he still wants the fight. On this show, the rolling shackles would be in the Stieglitz camp. Yeah, you would think so. He looks about all in. Yeah, he looks exhausted. He got to work hard himself, to be fair. Oh, big right hand there. That was the best punch of the round, that right hand. But his tactics are still the same as they are in every fight, aren't they? Wear the, wear the other fella down. You've given that last round to Abraham, yeah? Yes. You give the previous Can one to Abraham, or you've given but the ninth. I think I give that to uh, Chehepo, I think it looks like the last the ninth. Well, I'll have to beg to differ on that one. Yes. I've got it level, you've got Chehepo ahead in that case. That sort of fight, though, isn't it? Well, he starts brightly, doesn't he, the African? He just he fades a little bit in the in the, in the, the last 30, 40 seconds or, or so, and sometimes that, that might swing the rounds in Abraham's favour. 
the problem is some of these wrongs Abraham has started fast himself and that's a problem for Shehefo he needs to keep busy but he looks tired stop stop thank you this in your head but referee's just been a touch pedantic at times hasn't he maybe could have uh, allowed the action to to flow Good jab there though, for, again from Shehipo. You could see Abraham was trying to line himself up for those big swinging hooks and it absolutely stopped him in his stride, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, really good shot. That's good. And again, they're cuffing shots but they're still landing. Caught by a right hand as he comes in, Shiheko. And another one. <laughs> no, okay. Abraham spinning wrong. He's wildly throwing everything into his punches now, Abraham. That's good from the Hapo, just keeping behind that jab again. And Abraham not too much again in this round. Well, he's had a breather, and we said he was looking pretty spent at the end of the tenth, and it's a bit kind of improved by the way in which he's fighting in this round. Oh, that's no knockdown. That was definitely a inside of the glove, a bit of a pull from Shiapo. It's the advertising in the middle. They've been slipping on it all night. Solid jab there though from Abraham, wasn't it? Really heavy shot. He'll be trying to land some something eye-catching in the closing stages. Well, I don't think Abraham won that round. No, not at all. No, he, I think he's saving it all for the big, la big last round. You would think. Just keep on jumping to Mundra for the whole round, okay? You got fast here. We're not going on that one. And and take a move, take a move. Get off the camera. Put that thing, okay? Get off. Get off the camera. Put that thing. Force. 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 The way I score it, John. You have a feeling that that it that it maybe might be Abraham's fight, maybe. But you score a wrong, they'd be wrong, wouldn't you? You see that wrong, but I didn't take any notice. But yeah, it seems to be uh, Shahiko in front. I think he's boxed tremendously well. Really, too. He started off fast, and you know, his work has been quite good. It's only the last few rounds, but he started to suffer with the pace. You've got him seven four. I've got him six five. But either way, Abraham needs a big round, and it hasn't been a, a great showing from him. It's been the jaded performance of an ageing fighter. Well, you called it labour, didn't you, in about round five or something, and I was spot on. That's exactly what it's been, a labour performance. Some nice heavy hooks there, though, from Abraham. Needs a lot of them, and again, his mouth hanging open. He looks about spent, Abraham. Needs a big attack. Got to win this round, surely. Well, he, tra he trades on toughness, doesn't he, Abraham? Strength, durability. When he moved up the Super League, he was always giving away natural size to, to fighters, but now he's getting a little bit older as well. It all has an effect, doesn't it? He must know in his heart. But it's not where it once was. No, but there's big money out there, you know, and a chance to regain your world title is, is enough for you, to want, for you to want to fight on, which is surely where he's going to be going next. That world title fight. Being outworked again here in this last round. I'm seeing sure if he goes next, that's if he wins this fight. Well, that's it. <laughs> Right hand from Abraham did get through that time, but again, 
Shehapo takes it well. Last minute or so of this fight is going to be dramatic, you sense. Well, he's had, a, he's had a good role so far, hasn't he? Shehapo's having a little bit of success, but all the, the standoff punches have been landed from Abraham. Abraham needs more. One last effort. You sense him gathering himself. It could be that he's here fighting quite literally in this last minute to keep a distinguished career alive. Well, you know it's not a big performance because the crowd are quiet. They're usually so vocal, aren't they, for, for Abraham? Well, Shehapo was lined up for a fight against Stieglitz last year. It never happened. But maybe if he comes home as the winner here maybe he'll get that fight and he would deserve it as well a good right hand there though from, from Abraham but he's shown flashes of his, of his of his former self yeah it's only been sort of brief flashes hasn't it and even here as he's coming forward desperately gambling he's not able to find the big punch that he wants well they both raise their arm they both celebrate but there was kind of a perfunctory look towards the gesture delivered by Arthur Abraham and he looks a little bit tired and old in that corner meanwhile Shehapo chaired around the ring and frankly I think if he doesn't get this verdict he will consider himself very very unlucky and on the receiving end of a hometown decision Abraham looks a little bit downcast I don't think he think well Maybe suggesting to Shehapo, get down, I've won it. Well, Abraham, because he lands all the heavier shots, you know, sometimes when you're a big, tough, durable guy, you just only count the heavy shots. So you think, well, I've landed with all the power shots, and you've just landed with, with shots that never really had any effect. But it's not about power shots, it's about scoring shots. And for me, Shehapo landed the more scoring shots. But will he get the verdict? I think it's a tight. I think it's a tight one. Yeah, certainly, I don't, I don't think it'd be a robbery. If, a robbery if he didn't get it, to be honest. And, and maybe at home people might see a different fight. But I, I thought I had him up by 115, 113. Could be a split decision. Could be a draw. <laughs> we'll be seeing, we've already seen one debatable draw, haven't we? Yes, some of the action of that last round and a big effort from Abraham. Again, laboured in his work, but perhaps just through sheer effort and willpower, maybe just scraping that last round. All down to the judges now. Ri Richard James Davis, one of them, generally known as Richard. Richie, I think, that's how he was introduced to, to the crowd. Mickey Van, one of the judges as well. I've seen a bit over the years. I'm not the sort, I don't think, to be necessarily swayed by hometown sentiments. No. Also with this fight, it's a, it's a, we say Abraham was labour, but it's also getting up for a fight like this. After, like we said, I spoke this in the first round, there's been so many great fights with so many great fighters. Oh, how would you get up for a fight with a guy who you're, you're meant to beat easily? It's, it's I think you're being kind. I don't think it's there anymore, Barry. Yeah, you I just do. don't think it's there. And truth be told, maybe it hasn't really been there for a year or two. Anyway, who's got this? Here we go. Richard James Davis aus Kent, England, wertet den Kampf 116 zu 113. Manuel Oliver Palomo aus Palma de Mallorca, Spanien, wertet den Kampf 116 zu 112, 116, 112. Und Mickey Wen aus Leeds, England, wertet den Kampf 117 zu 111, 117, 111. Alle drei für den einstimmigen Sieger nach Punkten und neuen BBO Intercontinental Champion. King Arthur Abraham. Well, there you go. There's a few boos around the arena. In fact, there's a fair few boos. A lot of the fans not particularly happy with that one and feeling that Chihapo 
has been a little bit short-changed. The scoring was wide, 117 and 111, Mickey Van giving it by six rounds, Richie Davis by three, and the third judge by four rounds. Abraham gets the decision and gets the opportunity now to fight Robert Stieglitz, but you heard the boos and you heard the whistles. What do you make of that? What do you make of those scores, Barry? Well, it was a little bit wide, I think, either way. Maybe 116, 113, you know, some of those rounds are close to the gun either way, but I think she hit was being a little bit hard. I don't think it's a robbery who won the fight, but the scores were a bit too wide for my liking. But I thought she hit won it by a couple of points. But listen, I'm not saying it's an agenda, but Abraham gets his other world title shot now, and and this this poor African guy goes back to the drawing board and hopefully gets a look in somewhere else. I thought Wilberforce Shehapo fought really well tonight. He was expected, I think, by the Abraham camp to be blown away, but it wasn't to be. He gave him all the problems that he needed. Arthur Abraham gets a unanimous decision, but according to the crowd, and according to, at least us to some extent, a little bit of a contentious one.